everyone, it is February. Vanessa and I are back to show you another demo with Creative Grids. And just like last month, we will be giving you a code word. And this month's code word is... Cupid. And with the purchase of the ruler and the code word... Cupid. Cupid. We will be giving you a free gift. Do you want to know what the worst thing that can happen to anybody is? What's the worst thing that can happen to Walking through a spider web. Oh my gosh, yes. It's disgusting. It is. It sticks with you all day. It does. And it just ruins your day. It is. It's the whole thing. Well, I have a spider web that you are going to love. Prove it. It's the Creative Grid Spider Web Ruler. And just like the other Creative Grid rulers, it has the patent texture backing. Mm. Maybe. And it also comes with the Magic Pack. Magic! That gives you the step-by-step -step instructions and colored pictures. It's my favorite kind of book. <laughs> and it also has your measurements figured for you. With this ruler, it could do up to four different blocks, starting with the spider web, the floating spider web, the four-pointed star, and the kaleidoscope. I will be showing you two of these blocks today. I'm going to be doing the spider web block. And with this ruler, it does triangles and kites. So for your, for your triangles, um, the black lines are what you're going to cut for your triangles. That's the width of your strips. I did a four inch strip. So how you will lay the ruler is putting the top of your fabric at the very end of your black tip. And then the bottom will line up at the four. You're going to cut. Did you hear about the new rotary blades that we got? Yes, I did. Um, Olaf came out with a new rotary blade. It's the endurance blade, and it could cut up to, uh, it could cut twice as long. And, amazing. Mm hmm. And it's like smooth. Did you know they're the same price as the other rotary blades? Oh my gosh, I did. Okay, and for your kites, the white dotted lines are where you're going to be lining up for your kites. It has two different numbers here. The four is for your triangles, so the three and a half is going to be the square that you are going to cut for your kite. So we're going to start with a three and a half by three and a half inch square. And what you will do is just line up the dotted line along your fabric, and you will cut and leaving you with the kite beautiful it is it's so easy it is I love it okay I'm going to show you how to make one out of the four blocks how you will layer them And then you'll take that to your sewing machine and it already allows for the quarter inch seam allowance and you're going to press your seams open and what I like to use before I cut is the breast press starch. It comes in a variety of scents and we also have this new starch flatter. Works just as well. It's a great size for traveling. It is nice and compact. Mm -hmm. So after you get done with those, the first block, you're going to sew three more, making your finished block. Look at those seams. Pressing them nice and open, giving you that flat look. The next block I'm going to show you is the kaleidoscope block. I did four darks and four lights. The reason why I'm showing you this block is because the sewing technique is a bit different. You're going to line up your lights and darks just like so. So I can just start sewing consecutively a block or triangle to triangle to triangle? No. And the reason for that is because you will have one triangle left out and if you try to sew that in with the others, you're going to have a tent in the middle.
<laughs> well, tents are only for camping. You're done right there. And nobody likes tents in the middle of their block. They will not always quilt out. No, they won't. So to sew your triangles, you're gonna start off with two at a time. Right sides together, pressing your seams open. And then after you get done sewing your two, you will then conjoin those on both sides and then sew right down the middle. That will make your kaleidoscope. Lovely. To finish off the block, um, just like with the kites, I did three and a half inch half square triangles. And to completely square it off, I used the Stripology ruler, which Amber will show you. The Stripology squared ruler, which you have probably seen me use in the store before, is easy to square up your blocks. What I really like about it is if you have a block like this that has a lot of fabric in the middle, the way it's cut, it will move with your block so there's no teeter-tottering. You have a flat, steady surface to make sure that your block is squared up properly. So what you're telling me, it will square up my block precise and accurate for me? Absolutely. Awesome. I love that. Well, you're right. That is a uh, spider web that I can enjoy. It is, isn't it? That is a spider web ruler, and there's your spider web and kaleidoscope blocks. Also, don't forget, with the purchase of the ruler and the code word, Cupid, <laughs> you'll get a free gift. Also, if you have any creative grid rulers that you would like us to demo, comment below the video and let us know and we'll see what we can do for you. See you next month. I think that the spiders do it on purpose. Cause there's spider webs? Yeah. They put them in front of you so then you have to just start swinging your arms around like you're a crazy ninja and they sit back and laugh. Kind of like Karate Kid. Yeah. I agree.